About, all good. Uh, for a lineman, what did you like about that group? Coach kind of talked about versatility with some of them and obviously size with all of them. We just mimic what we've had success with before. You know, a guy that's playing at a high level for us is Darius Washington. And he, if you look at a lot of those players in that commitment, three of them actually, they fit kind of similar to what he was. Athletic, long, still needs some developmental traits, but can play all five positions. So we've had a lot of success with that. So I wanted to kind of find some guys that were mimicking the kind of things he brought. But you look at um, like Ty, Ty, I believe he's the larger version of Maurice Smith. You know, with Maurice Smith toughness, you know, the star center for us has done a great job developing, but I told him I was gonna find somebody bigger than him. So I linked them two up, and Ty's versatility is going to help us inside and possibly outside. Um, you look at uh, Jonathan Daniels, who's a kid that started off as a DN, was too slim, then he got bigger, then he went to O-line. But just his ability of long, lean, athletic, coming from the same place where Darius come from, ironically, you know, I think he can have that possibility to be more versatile and things of that nature. Um, then you look at Mana, all the way out West Coast. He was a guy that completely just changed his body. I mean, watching him from early recruiting to now, he looks like a different guy. I give a lot of shout out to his host, Miles, because what, look, seeing how he's developing, how his body is filling out, what plus his athleticism, plus he was a basketball player. I'm looking forward to kind of that versatility too with that athleticism. And then you got Big Todd, who uh, probably is the biggest in the class, massive. You always got to have some big bodyguard type guard body. He's going to be that inside guard force. Um, also started out as a quarterback. He was a guy I had to see multiple times. You know, he went through a long, long evaluation because I wasn't fired up at first. We had a discussion, things I wanted to see. He came to camp multiple times. I saw him getting better, which let me know what his ceiling was. And also, shout out to the weight room coach, the strength coach because they saw some qualities in it that I didn't see when he was with those guys that really put him over the top. How do you balance recruiting a high school alignment where you got to invest a lot of time in development versus a portal alignment who may be more college ready, developed, and ready to be plug and play? So it's really the same. I mean, some of the portal guys we got never even started a game. Like, you know, like our most high profile guy was Dylan Gibbons, who was a ball player, brought a mentality, a toughness, a smartness. He only started one game in his former college. So you still have to have the developmental piece and find those ways in them. But I think they've just been through an uh, off season. They understand the time it takes to commitment because they're just older. You know, we all are different as we get a year older. But I think that is more of the value of them bringing in. The best thing about bringing a portal guy in is they tell them how good they got it here. Because a lot of times they're coming from other places and they say, hey, man, I know you think that's what it is, but let me tell you, you got it pretty good here. So I think that was a big benefit of developing the O-line culture that we have, you know, from, from even, I mean, you watch that those guys in there monitor each other. I'm not having to do a bunch, man. They're, they're keeping each other on point, whether it be social media, work ethic-wise, practice-wise. And I like that culture that's been built in the room. Offensive. Yeah. There are a lot of people say offensive line is the hardest position to kind of project. Um, what is that well, there's not a lot of humans that can do it. You know, if you go to Disney World on the busiest day in the country, there could be too many people out there. It might be one or two people out there that could possibly do it and not even do it at a high level. So to have the size commitment, the athleticism, and the, the mental fortitude to be able to play the position, it's just rare. And I would say most of the I was talking to one of the NFL guys, he said the reason why they don't have many old linemen in the league, why they only carry seven active, maybe eight, and keep ten is because it's just not that many. It, you know, it's not many good enough players to carry in the league. So he was like, man, we got to keep those numbers low just to keep the, the, the product high. So just not a lot of people that can do it. Offensively speaking, outside the offensive line, what do you like about the playmakers you guys brought in? Receiver group seems to have a good bit of versatility, and then Landon has a pass catcher too. Yeah, Elijah, he looked at the blueprint we had of using larger receivers. You know, he looked and saw the production. Our guys, they're like Johnny and Keon and those guys. He was like, I see they know how to, you know, do being a big receiver himself. He saw that I, I want to be a part of that because I know how they use larger receivers. And also, coming all the way from up Maryland, I think he wanted to get a little bit of that, that warm weather too. But um, I'm glad he's down there because he came to the elite camp. I mean, he was unreal, you know, and that kind of caught everybody's eye. BJ from right up the road, multi-sport guy, bringing that South Georgia mentality, toughness, came to an elite uh, camp. We saw him show out. So all these guys, you've seen the common thing we saw it in person for evaluation purposes. And then Lil Wayne, I mean, ain't much more I can say about him. He can play any position, skill position on the field. From DB, corner, wide receiver, running back. You put him wherever, he'll be a competitor. So I'm fired up to have him in the class. And Cam is the old man in the group I call him. He's probably been committed the longest. Um, you know, he cares. Sometimes he walks in, I think he, he is his dad because it's just his personality and dynamic. You know, speed, competitor, he catch the ball, man, fall through some adversity, through injury. I can't wait for him to showcase himself. What about Landon Thomas at tight end, what he brings to that spot? Landon... I don't want to team too biased, but 
Atlanta's all business. And he, he sometimes he gets forgot about because he's not a hype guy on social media. He didn't go take every visit it possibly he can take. He's not texting pictures. He just he knew what he wanted. He went after it, and he takes care of business. That's pretty much it. But he's probably the best tight end in this, in this 24 class. It ain't even, I mean, first to catch the ball, run out the catch, blocking, can do it all and not having to take a – bigger receiver and make him a tight end or an old lineman with that let us teach him how to catch to have all those attributes is special. Sorry about that, Danzy, a little bit. It seemed like just watching a little bit of his highlights. Very explosive. We need some speed. High track, high speed. When I went to go visit Florida High, the big thing they kept hitting me on was his competitiveness. Because when you meet him, he's real mild, meek. I'm thinking, okay, he chill, laid back. They say, nah, coach. When he get out here, he know how to compete. And he talking crazy, throwing a ball in guys' chest. So once I heard he had a little dog with the speed, I was all in.